Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will continue to enhance a script that I did in a previous demo, which uploads files into SharePoint from a specific file directory. This is the file directory, the source of the files, and this is the destination. Now, what I'm going to do is create a subfolder here. I've already done that, the imported subfolder. And now I want to move the files once they have been imported into SharePoint. I want to move the files in the file system up there. So I'm going to do that by using the move item commandlet. That takes two relevant parameters, the path, which is, of course, the path of the file that I want to move. So it's the file full name. And then it's the destination, and that's going to be the destination of the folder that, where I want to put the, the imported files. Now, if I run this, I'm going to get an error because it's going to try to upload an empty folder there, which is not going to work because I have an empty folder there up now. So I'm going to get an error. The problem is not the error, but the problem is what PowerShell does with the error. So let's run the script and see what happens. Can save that. So actually, no, let's save that as number two so we don't override anything. There we go. Upload files two. That's the one we want to do. Let's do that. So, yep. So then we save the file and just run it. There we go. Run. And now you see you get an error soon. And then it continues, which is kind of confusing. It continues to upload the other files. So it's very hard to afterwards to see what went wrong. So what I always do is add the default error handling of PowerShell. The default is to just continue. Report the error and continue. Keep trying. I don't like that. I want it to stop and tell me what's wrong so that I can troubleshoot right there. I do that by changing the error action preference of PowerShell. I put that at the top here, error action preference, like that. And I set that to stop. So that's what I want it to do. There's also another one that's recommended, and that's the PS default uh, parameter values. And I'm going to uh, pick the, the specific one here called like this, star colon error action. And square bracket for that one, and the value of that is going to be stop also. Those two usually work for me so that I get the stop if there's something wrong. So let's try this again now and see the difference. We save again and run it. Now you see, now it stops, it still gives the error, but it doesn't continue. So that means that now I can check what is the, the, the file that's giving me trouble. So I can select that part, because that's where we see that the error is, the uh, row 16. So it's somewhere there, and it's saying that it's trying to add that file, and that file cannot be found. And that makes sense, because it is actually the folder. It's trying to upload a folder. So if we just do an if statement here, and check if this file, the current file that we're working on, is in fact is the PSS container. Then we're going to ignore it, and we will just do it if it's a file. So let's do that uh, not equals true. That checks if it is. And if it's not equal to a folder, then we add the file. So now we have our error handling to stop if, if anything goes wrong, but nothing should be go wrong now because we're handling the error. So let's save it again and run it. We can, of course, clear out the error also. Now you see it's starting to upload it. Ignore that folder and continue to upload the files to SharePoint. And here you see it's moving the files in there as it's intended to do. And they're being taken away from there. So, yep, everything works as intended. That concludes this demo on how to do a little bit of error handling and to move the files after they've been imported into SharePoint. Thank you for watching this demo. In the next one, we'll schedule this task so that it runs automatically once every 10 minutes or something like that. We'll do that with Task Scheduler, but thank you for watching this demo.